Hello everyone and welcome back to another ex uh, installment of DCC Channel Do News Where death comes for certain and that's what the DCC stands for With just this night being the last night of Monday Night Raw before Survivor Series this Sunday Which I recommend you all should go check it out Go subscribe to the WWE Network I mean oh my gosh we have some stuff that went down tonight First off, we had the return of Roman and Bray Wyatt due to due to their sickly virus thing. Now they're better and they're back and better than ever tonight on Raw. Uh, to start off the show, we had you know Stephanie McMahon and Kurt come out, blah blah blah, introduce the show and whatnot. Steph talking bad to Kurt. Then we had the Shield come up to back up Kurt. And also challenging and calling out the New Day. So that's a match to look forward to in Survivor Series with the Shield taking on the New Day. And vengeance for the previous Monday night of the New Day having cost Dean and Seth of the Shield the tag team titles. Speaking of Survivor Series, we have announced, I have announced that, um, that I have announced, I have discovered that Team Red will have Kurt Strowman, Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, and it was Jason Jordan, I'll get more into that later on in the podcast, versus Team Blues, Shane McMahon, Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Roode, the glorious, and none other than John Cena went from Team Red to Team Blue. Dang, he'd be betraying Team Raw. But anywho, guys, that's what happened in the beginning of Monday Night Raw. Uh, the match that started off was, if I'm correct, the triple threat match between Dana Brooks, Mickey James, versus Bailey for the last membership of the women's division. So, with this triple threat, whoever won would be the, the last member of the women's division. Uh, I would have to give this match up and up. Not what I thought it was going to be after a rumor of a certain superstar I've heard returning. But I guess that's for a later date. Um, but still, this triple threat gets an up for me. Because they had Bailey as the fifth member of the Raw Women's Division team for the Survivor Series. Uh, during the match, we had uh, Dana Brooks assault Oscar. I think it was Oscar, that's how you pronounce the name. After Oscar tried to help her when she got clotheslined out of the ring. But being Oscar, didn't like that slap, so chased after Dana Brooks, delivering a fatal spinning roundhouse kick or power kick, whatever the flip is called, in response. And then after that, leaving Nikki, uh, Mickey James and Bailey, which Bailey delivers a belly to Bailey, and taking up the win, and now. The women's division now has Alicia Fox as the leader, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Nia Jax, and Oscar, the em Empress of Tomorrow. I don't know. Now, versus Team Red and Team Blue, I don't know who I'm going to be voting for. Stay tuned for, but stay tuned for the Brother Supreme Saturday, where I'll be talking about my predictions, as well as my co-host Brother Supreme's prediction when we do our podcast, our Brother Supreme podcast on the weekend. Uh, link to that will be in the description below when I upload this to YouTube. Uh, following that match, well not following that match, but the next match, somewhat want to talk about, not really following a lot, is the tag team with Enzo and Drew Goulage versus Kalisto and Akura. Uh... Enzo and Drew won the match. Surprisingly, Enzo didn't use his cheap tricks to win. To me, since I don't follow the Enzo match that much anymore, this one, I'm, it doesn't get it down, doesn't get it up. It's, it's in the middle. I'm not following that much. I still love Enzo, but eh, the match didn't, I don't know, didn't get me. I'm so happy Enzo won. I mean, it brings up a thought, though. Where the heck is Big Cass? Like, he just, poof. Vanished. Disappeared. Gone. I gotta look that up. I'll probably have a uh, announcement on that. Wednesday or Thursday I'll do a podcast. That, that'd be really nice to talk about. Anywho, after that match, let's talk about Miz TV with the Miz's special guest, The Bar, 
uh, well, as I well, as I refer to as the new tag team title, the A Team Champions. And basically, with this episode of Miss TV, it just started off as any other Miss TV. Miz running his mouth, the bar running their mouth about the Usos, and the Miz coming back. Now saying they're going to beat the Shield because they're the champions. They're not the bar; they are the bar. Blah blah blah. Miss TV, I really don't pay that much attention unless people interrupt it. Then it just gets funny. Uh, but Miss TV, eh, gets a sadly, uh, not sadly. It, a down in my taste. Down in my taste. Which follows up a the Ray Wyatt versus Jason Jordan match, which has Jason Jordan proving trying to prove that he belongs on Team Red after Stephanie McMahon calls out Kirk that he was calling favorites. Now the match just started off good. Jason Jordan did walk it did walk in that match. No fears for the uh, Eater of Worlds. Um, due to a knee injury he received on the top rope. That he was trying to do to Braun. Uh, not Braun. Wow. Slow me. Uh, Bray. Bray Wyatt. So when he was on the top rope. I guess Jason Jordan suffered a knee injury. But he still fought hard. And Jason Jordan did prove himself. He escaped six to, sister Abigail. Into a pin. Winning the match. But. Knowing the Wyatts. And Bray Wyatt. And anger for that loss. Take it out on Jason Jordan, targeting the injured left leg and making him more of a cripple. Um, that match, I don't want to give it, I don't want to say middle. I mean, I do like how it ended because it fits Bray's character and eh, it did catch my eye a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the match an up. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you if you would give that match up or down. Uh, what you thought the other previous match I talk about. Feel free to comment below. Like I, who's ever listening? If anyone's listening, don't don't be shy. Uh, following up that match, which Kurt rushed to the locker room to aid his son, uh, see if his how bad his leg was. Um, but following that match, we had Brock Lesnar. And Paul Heyman uh, come on to the come out into the ring, sharing their thoughts on AJ Styles winning the title change and talking about Survivor Series. Which the funniest response was when the crowd started chanting, "She said yes," and Paul Heyman reacted to because <laughs> I guess somebody proposed in the WWE audience, and just Paul Heyman's reaction was just hilarious. It it was. Um, but anywho. I'm going to get back to the on topic. Uh, the other match we're going to talk about is The Shield versus Miz, Cesaro, and Sheamus. Now, The Shield did start off good, holding uh, holding the ground until Cesaro and the others turned the tide in their favor. Um, followed by The Shield turning, but then the Bar and Miz started you know, going back and forth. Good match. There was a Hold on, I lost train of thought here. Ah, there was a point in the match I did like where, let's see, it was Roman came in and we had a double close, li- we had close lining the bar out of the ring, followed by a double suicide dive, leaving the Miz with uh the Miz with Roman as the Miz ducked out of the ring and hauled a- and hauled butt into the uh, arena. I thought that was hilarious. Eventually, he did come back to finish the match, but sadly didn't finish the way he wanted and. The Shield took the victory by a spear, followed by a triple power bomb to the Miz. Like I said, taking the victory. Uh, after that, I want, uh, there's the Kurt Angle and Jason Jordan heartbreaking discussion that <clears throat> even hurted me. I, I felt bad for Jason Jordan. Uh, because their discussion was about Jason's Survivor Series future with his leg injury and. Jason's still saying he can fight, he'll be better for Sunday, Kurt knowing he has to replace him, but he doesn't want to because it's his son. Until Stephanie interrupts, followed by Triple H, the game, the King of King, returning, entering the ring, and announcing that he is the new fifth member that will replace Jason Jordan. Then looking at Kirk, the two had an eye to eye, Triple H turned, faced Jason Jordan, Kurt's son, and then laid a pedigree. Smack dab on Jason Jordan, leaving Kurt and his son in the ring, walking out. 
So yeah, that's another thing, guys. Let me know what you think of Triple H announcing he is the fifth member for the Team Red of Survivor Series. So now we have... Uh, give me a moment. Let me get my stuff. Where the flip is it? So we have Kurt, The Game, Triple H, Strowman, Samoa Joe, and Finn Balor versus Shane, Randy, Nakamura, Bobby Rhodes, and John Cena. Now this is a match that is... I mean, I'm thinking if I had the money, I want to I want to buy a subscription or get a free description just to watch the Viva series. Because that'd be nice. Uh, following that, I'm going to talk about the tag team match with Finn and Samoa Joe versus Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Now, this match started off on the wrong turn with a push to Finn from Samoa Joe, uh, followed by what you think, oh no, Samoa Joe is going to betray Finn, they're going to cost the match. And surprisingly, that didn't happen. Uh, I guess during, uh, during the match, uh, Finn thought Joe was going to rush him, and surprisingly, Samoa Joe got his back from a sneak attack that one of the Anderson brothers was going to do on Finn. Now, this match did have most of the time Finn taking a beating from the brothers, but still, he found the strength to fight on, to kick out every time they put him down. And then the minute Samoa Joe came in, he laid great, laid waste to Anderson and Gallows. I mean, it was just beast. He was, he was the destroyer. I mean, that's why he's the destroyer. Um, but anywho, I gotta wrap this up because I got two minutes left. Well, three minutes, I think. Um, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor takes the win with Samoa Joe slamming down. Call, uh, I think, yeah, Call Anderson, and then close lightning, Luke Gallows out of the ring, and then doing an amazing, unbelievable suicide dive, letting Finn Balor take the pin with the coup de gras, and then pinning for the win. Samoa Joe, though, walking, walking away, you know, not a real friendship, just like, all right, we won, it's like, we won, done, deal with it, I'm gone. Finn Balor... In the ring, and now Finn Bell and Finn Bell was in the ring celebrating. Now, with just my two minutes remaining, I want to talk about the main event, which is Braun Strowman versus the Big Red Machine, Kane himself. Uh, this match, it's actually, I can't say match because technically there wasn't even the match. It was just do vengeance. That's all I can describe it as. You had Kane start off with a right hand slap to Braun's face, and Strowman. Coming back with the fucking right hook and just taking the fight to the big red machine, not letting the not letting the big uh the big red monster get up. Or should I say big red machine because there's only one monster and his name is Strowman. But Kane did manage to throw in a couple chairs, set it up a table, but Strowman returned the favor with a few chair shots of his own. One of the other things that impressed me was yet again, Strowman got out of not of a choke slam, not once, but twice. And then taking the fight back into the ring, Strowman delivers a running power slam, not breaking the ring, not knocking Kane out, a running power slam through the ring, as in the monster among men and the big red machine tore through the ring, leaving a gaping hole, and it was just, and then it just, that's it, it cut out right there. Let me all know what you think in the comments below what you thought of tonight's Monday Night Raw. I, for one, it just blew my mind. Can't wait to see what SmackDown's going to do tomorrow night. Be sure to like this video when I upload it on YouTube. Uh, share, uh, like, uh, be sure to comment if you want to see more or share it with your friends. A like means you want to see more as well. Follow me on Spreaker, which is DCC Channel Do News. Uh, click that bell notification to keep up to date on all live podcasts or... Uh, podcast uploads and as always guys i will see you next time on dcc channel do news